Hey beautiful people, welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today. So guys, in this video, we are not going to waste time. There is no time to waste here because time is running. Admission portals are closing. Some schools are already closed and we cannot apply. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you about a university which is still open in one of the best countries in the European Union. And in this university, I'm going to talk to you about some few details you need to know about visa application. I will talk about the fee. I will talk about requirements. I will talk about the programs available that you can apply to and also we will discuss some things that you need to know before you can immigrate to this particular country but before i talk about this let me inform you that these are some questions some people ask me somebody was asking me if uh, to move to austria you need a blocked account no you do not need a blocked account to immigrate to austria but you need the money in your bank account sometimes why i said you do not need a blocked account is because sometimes when you put the money in your account and go for visa application the embassy might tell you to transfer the money to Austria, then you bring confirmation to them. So you have to be careful. I understand why they are insisting on that and you should understand why they are insisting on that as well. Also, somebody was asking me how much is proof of funds to study in Canada. Please, if you watch my videos or let's say if I post a video today, you watch that video please make sure you pay attention to details because i have said many times on this youtube channel and i have more than enough videos to explain to you how you can study in canada what are the documents you need to attach because it is not all about showing a bank statement it is not all about dumping money in an account and now to the person who asks how much they need your proof of funds in canada should show this your tuition fee for one year Plus living cost money for one year, which is equivalent to twenty thousand six hundred and thirty-five dollars Canadian dollars, not U.S. dollars. Plus miscellaneous money, which is equivalent to like five thousand dollars. So this is money that needs to be in your bank statement or on your bank statement. It has to show that you have this money readily available and accessible to you. Either your sponsor should have it, you yourself as the applicant should have it, or maybe your brother or sister or sibling should have it, or your parents should have it. These are the people that can sponsor you and also your uncle. Please go back to my YouTube channel and watch detailed videos on how to go about this process. It's so important. If you do not understand, it's going to be detrimental on your side. Now, let's go back to our video for the university in Europe that is open and accepting applications from international students. And remember that when I say it's open and accepting application, you can move September 2024. That is when the programs are going to start. Also, do not forget that if you are looking to apply to this university you have to apply before may 24th because these programs are going to be closing by may 24th those who applied before december they did their application using campus france okay now you are going to be using the e-candidate website for those of you who are going to apply from now until the 24th of may I am talking about University of Bourgogne. Bourgogne. Well, in French, they call it Université de Bourgogne. So that is the school. It is located in France. And the tuition fees on programs are going to charge you 243 euros. So these are the things you need to put into consideration. Now, let's talk more about some things that you need to also consider when it comes to this application remember this is not a very competitive school but as i'm posting now remember this is the peak of applications most people have been rejected already some people might have applied for other countries and got the rejections and now they are looking for backup so understand that many people will want to apply so i would advise you to watch this video till the end do the necessary things but please do me three things now share the video so that your neighbor or brother can see it please like the video so that youtube can tell somebody somewhere that there is a good video from milton then also do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because if you subscribe we are growing together thank you so much these are the things you should do for me now requirements to apply for university de bourgogne include one remember you are going for master's programs so you need to show that you've graduated from university before 
and equally you own a transcript and a degree certificate they will need this these two then in addition to a motivation letter and some universities also ask for references i didn't see this and i'm not very certain if they need a reference letter or not they just said you have to create an account on the e-candidate website and you apply for a program then also if you are asked to send references which i doubt there some schools will also ask you to sign a questionnaire so these are the basic things and a cv put all of this into consideration and do not forget that when it comes to application to france you have to be quick you have to be strategic you have to consider budget these are the things that you need to put into consideration now we've talked about the requirements and the only thing we are left to talk about now are the programs let's take a look at the programs and we talk about some things you need to know when visa is concerned the programs here are about 10 or more but again remember these programs have like they have different things that you need to put like the different curriculums or different courses that you are going to study some may be expensive than others so if you doubt anything there are emails on the school website check those emails and send direct messages to the international office now this school has a partnership with university bourgogne franche is it franchise or franche anyways it doesn't matter when you click on these programs i'm going to mention now they will take you to the application site you will see where to apply so the programs at this university university de bourgogne include international masters in business studies that is the first one the second program is international management and social sustainability there is also international management there is also project in international and european cultural engineering there is also task for microbes there is also transition metals in molecular chemistry there is also innovative drugs there is also health ai that's health artificial intelligence there is also advanced electronic system engineering there is also physics photonics and nanotechnology ppn there is also mathematics and mathematical physics and of course there is quantum technology now you need to go through these programs one by one to know which one actually suits you check their requirements because there are certain uh, specific programs that you need to have specific subjects pass or courses like your bachelor's needs to be in a particular field for you to study this programs at this university in france now remember i'm going to take a program like international management and sustainability to quote an example if you look at that program there are certain things on the website like the benefits and all the details and how to apply if you take a look at the benefits you will notice that the benefits there include you are going to understand program like if you decide to study international management and sustainability you would understand things related to the environment and sustainable development goals also there is an internship a six months internships in a company in france or you can decide to take it abroad now this particular program can lead you to a research which will definitely carry you to phd in the future then also prior study for will be re required if you are going for a master's program okay if you are going for a master's program you need like to have studied a bachelor's program before in your life before you can be given a chance to go for a master's program and also remember those who are going to be applying for programs like international management and sustainability you need to have a bsc which is equivalent to 240 ects credit units liberians i want to emphasize here I noticed that your bachelor's degree is not up to 180 i don't know if there are specific universities or some particular people actually didn't do some courses but if you calculate for those of us who study in the university of boya in cameroon before then our ects were 180 which means that uh, even if you 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 study you graduated with me you cannot apply for this program because they say a bsc should be at least 240 ects credit units so please verify very well and check your transcript before you apply and remember students who studied in francophone countries and had degrees in finance anthropology economics mathematics psychology political science and of course computer sciences can apply for this particular international management and sustainability please check the website you are going to see all these details that i just mentioned now 
it's so crucial for you to pay attention to details remember there are other universities in france i will be talking about and i would advise that you should apply to many schools somebody was telling me in one of my videos that yeah if you apply to many schools you are going to pay more application fee and i was like this is these programs are like in fact it is a choice if you can decide to pay application fee it means that you know what you are doing but if you still decide not to pay it doesn't mean that you don't know what you are doing maybe you just fancy or you like your money now you have to think if you spend 500k to move to france how long will you take you to make that 500k in france than in your home country it is now a decision of choice or maybe something that involves your choice so please put all of these then after you get admissions you go back because you are applying using e candidate you you have to go back with your offer letter and upload it on campus france to get a document and of course the insurance certificate which is a c v e c document to apply for your visa do not forget the visa documents there is a video on this channel where i recently talked about studies in france the proof of funds and all the documents and how to get insurance and remember Remember, if you want to get insurance you need to go for the 20 like the schengen visa interview like insurance okay all the details are on the website and you can check them from campus france remember also that if you are trying to apply for the visa you need to deposit your documents as fast easy as possible i think you have to be doing this through the vfs global i'm not sure you can go directly to french embassies depending on your country of origin i hope you enjoyed this video more videos will drop very soon on this channel and please do not forget to share the video so that somebody somewhere can actually benefit from this till we meet again in another one bye bye